Have you heard the term triple constraints? It referred to the three constraints on a project, scope, time and cost. The idea was that all of these three are related to each other and depend on each other. If one changes, the other two are impacted. Take an example. A project has committed to deliver certain scope for some money and within certain time. The client asks the team to add some extra work and the project manager accepts that and says, great news, we will add this work to the scope but we will deliver with the same money and within the same time as before. If you are the client, will you be happy? No, you should be upset. How can the project team deliver more scope within the same time and with the same money? They may have overestimated the time and cost in the original plan, so they can easily accommodate extra work or they will try to get the work done faster. Now if there was overestimation, that is not good. That is bad project management. If the team is working for a client, the client or customer will be unhappy. And if it is an internal project, the management will be upset. Now if the work will be done faster, what happens when we try to work faster? We make more mistakes. That means the quality will go down. Risk of rework goes up. Resources will be put under pressure. They may lose motivation and may get burned with overwork. That means the triple constraints actually are six constraints. Time, cost, scope, quality, risk and resources. A change to one requires a change to at least one other, but usually several of the other five factors. A project manager will manage these six constraints throughout the project. Whenever an issue comes up, impact on six constraints will be reviewed. Whenever a change will be proposed, it will be evaluated against these six constraints.